Welcome to another Keel Hauled Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Logan, and we've got a lot of Sea of Thieves news to cover today, so tie yourselves to the mast and hold fast. Ahoy there, pirates. I hope you had yourselves a good week and a good weekend. I had a pretty busy one, I'm going to be honest. I, I can't say that I got a whole lot of time on the seas, but let's get into other things, like the news. <laughs> First up on today's docket, let's go ahead and talk about the patch notes for the patch that we got on this last Thursday. So it was a little late than we originally anticipated, but that's okay because it's here now and we're actually getting a chance to experience it. So with this latest patch, we got the new Bilge Rat Adventure Gunpowder Skeletons, which that... That right there is amazing. I, I love this. It, it's a lot better than I expected it. So a new event is in full force right now. If you haven't been clever girl by a gunpowder skeleton, then you're not getting off your ship. And that's sad. And I'm sad. That really, I only got one day to actually do this. That's why I'm really sad. It's not because you didn't get off your, you should be getting off your ship anyway. Go, go have fun. Don't be that person that has to sit on the ship all the time. Anyway, so like I said, I'm sad that I only got one day to play during this event so far. Uh, the one session I did, though, was great, and I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to go do some more of it. These skeletons are ruthless once they light their keg. I've I tried outrunning them. I've tried to bait them with other crew members. No. No thanks, they're not going to have it. They just keep chasing after you, and after five seconds, you go boom. <laughs> and, well, that's that's all I could really do. I could just die and then wait to come back. But it's, it's fun because it's threatening, and <laughs> having that when it's not just static things that you see coming, like shooting at you, like that's, it's a lot more fun to be chased around with powder kegs. Uh, along with these new AI threats out in the world, Rare has started to use the physics that they brought in with the Hungering Deep. So now, if a gunpowder keg explodes near a ship, the force will push it away. It's It's been really fun watching people test this out. Some of them have even gotten to the point where they're trying to build kind of a, a running parallel group of powder kegs and then setting them off when they run a ship into it to try and get their ship to blow up into the sky or flip over stuff they they basically they're trying to get this the ships to fly again because i i guess a lot of us really do miss the days when you could set sail for the second start of the right and straight on till morning the other thing that we got are the kegs the the kegs have received a cool little feature which i i, I didn't know i wanted until we actually got them now if you pick up any gunpowder keg in the world it will have a fuse that you can light to ignite these kegs, make sure that you start the five second countdown because that's how long you're gonna get. The primary action is going to ignite the fuse while the secondary action will douse the fuse. This is gonna be a little different depending on if you're on PC or Xbox. Uh, so just make sure you're paying attention to primary versus secondary keybind button depending on how you have it all set up. Uh, I had a really fun time hiding in the captain's cabin with one of these uh, on a galleon. So I, I sat there waiting and I didn't know like when the best time was because I couldn't really see what, what was going on above me. But be sure I was going to do something above me. So I lit the fuse. I counted a couple seconds. And then I ran up to the helm and I dropped it. And then I started running away snickering like Wiley Coyote. And then a couple seconds later, there was this big kaboom. And he's like, what just happened? And sure enough, I killed Mike from Canada, our helmsman at the time. And it was very entertaining because powder kegs are really fun when you can set them uh, with a timer. So if if you want to have a couple of these out on the the back railing of a galleon, I, I would not be uh, I would I would not be upset with you because it is really fun to go blow up friends when they're not expecting it. It's also really easy to sink ships now with if, if you just you get onto a ship with a powder keg, you light the fuse, you run all the way down, and by the time you get down to the bottom, you blow it up and anyone following you is gonna <laughs> it's gonna have a really hard time dealing with the the repercussions of following a person with a gunpowder keg nowadays so that's that's great i'm really enjoying it it's no longer required for you to have to actually shoot it um or hit it with your sword, I guess. Uh, you can always swipe at it to, to blow it up too, but that was always a pain. Now now being able to control that is just, it's going to bring a lot more tactical gameplay with, or, or more ta tactical gameplay? Yeah, I guess. I guess that works. It's going to bring more tactical gameplay to the Sea of Thieves, which I love. On the next bit of the patch notes, there are also some new titles that came, just like with the Skeleton Thrones, 
as I understand it. So I've actually got one of these in the game because of the one game session that I did do. And that was, I believe, for killing three skeletons with a powder keg of each type of skeleton. So the the shades, the ferns, or salads, as a lot of people seem to be calling them, and then the goldies. Uh, so the other title, as far as I know, is tied to the leg- legendary commendations, which was mentioned last week's in the, the kind of information about the gunpowder keg. So if you go into the Bilge Rat reputations, you'll see a slew of new commendations available to you. Each of those is going to award you uh, the Balloons, and those doubloons can be used to to pick up the the limited edition items as well as gold or reputation that I'll get into in a little bit here. So the thrones uh, gave us a couple titles, and the bilge rat adventures for gunpowder kegs is going to give us a couple as well too. So we're going to start seeing more variety for people who've been able to accomplish those different adventures as well. So getting into some of the things that you will receive with the doubloons, the new bone crusher weapons are probably some of the best that I've seen for a while. Stuff like this and the launch crew Eye of Reach really show that the team is willing to go a more mystic or fantastical route with the future cosmetics for weapons and stuff. These items and the event are all scheduled to end on July 10th, by the way. So make sure if you have internet, you get online and you pick these up. Uh, there are some, there's, There was some guarantee actually on Twitter that this was uh, something that was going to continue on. So we're actually going to be able to see more weapons, more cosmetics on more of a, a magical or, or fantastic type of fantasy style uh, for the cosmetics. I, I really... If you, if you want to pick up these four items, I really hope you get a chance to do so. It's really easy to get these because to collect them, you only need about 60 doubloons, I believe. I believe they're each 15 apiece. Uh, it's actually not too difficult for, for you to be able to get those. Just go out, kind of shoot some gunpowder kegs. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely die, but that's okay. It's okay to die because there's no death tax uh, like the one guy from the, the E3 wanted for some reason. It's also it's also going to be a lot easier for you to start grinding those Order of Souls voyages. Make sure you use this this opportunity. The gunpowder kegs are staying past the past the the actual build rat adventures, but they did say that they ramped up the the powder kegs uh, appearances in the world because of the event. So that being said. Now is the perfect time to go out and grind those Order of Souls. Get them, get them done and over with so you can start getting a lot more levels while it's easier to kill these skeletons out in the open. So, And it's, it's not just because of the gunpowder kegs either. This patch brings adjustments to the pistol and blunderbuss skeleton accuracy, which I was very happy to see. And, and the team made sure that it, to mention that this was due to player feedback, which should mean that there's less of a chance you'll be sniped by a pistol skeleton who's banked a shot off the newly adjusted bell into your skull as you drunkenly raise the anchor, which I can only imagine causes an angry tweet to automatically be generated due to the series of complex scripts written to ensure companies know exactly when you were killed by an OP character in game. All kidding aside, I'm, I'm glad that they made this adjustment. It's a quality of life improvement as far as I'm concerned. It means less time on the ferry. Well, Okay, it means less time on the ferry after the gunpowder event, which translates to more time playing and overall just my my better satisfaction. A couple more things about the patch notes, and and if you, I'm sorry, I kind of jumped right into this. It's been uh, uh, unfortunately, it's been kind of a, a tough moving day, so I'm trying to make sure that I get this in so that I get a chance to talk about it, so I can feel like I'm actually playing, even though I'm not actually playing, but. A couple more things about the patch notes uh, that I wanted to go into. The quality of life improvements are some memory usage uh, reduction, latency reduction, and client crash fixes. But more importantly, the double snake is gone. Double snake bite visual effects have been fixed. And the galleon's turning speed has been returned to its traditional Titanic can't avoid the iceberg speed. So one thing I can't speak to since, because much like in real life, my pirate is bald, uh, hair is finally obeying the laws of grooming and has stopped clipping through clothing. So I hope that makes all of you beautiful pirates out there with long flowing hair. I can't finish this. I, I miss hair too much. Curse you all. Curse you. Anyway. <laughs> Next up, one thing that I've seen around the community is people coming together at Skeleton Forts, for better or worse, to work on the legendary commendations. 
this is where we get into more of the player feedback. Players wanted reasons to replay the weekly events and content drops. This is the first stage of how this will look. So depending on your feedback community, you guys are the ones, you pirates are the ones that have to make this feedback. So Rare knows whether or not we like or dislike this. So they're very willing to change or redesign or adjust whatever's not working for the community. So make sure that you go onto the forums, you go onto Twitter, you go onto Reddit and be constructive. Don't be negative, be constructive. No one cares if you're happy and this is, the, well actually everyone cares if you're happy and you're ecstatic about everything. And, and nobody really cares if you're complaining about this because welcome to the internet. But be constructive. Give ideas on what could be changed about these if you're not happy with them. That being said, the legendary commendations are actually pretty tough. And I, I like that because it's it should be a harder thing to do. It should be something that people extremely dedicated to playing and getting out there and, and working with other crews or, or just being very sneaky about this are willing to do. So I, I because I don't have internet at the new place yet, which... I'll get into, I don't have the ability to double check all this information. So this is probably going to be the, the, the least informative and most depressing pod, podcast episode I've ever put out, which kills me to say, but the, the, the legendary, there's, there's going to be three of these and you'll be able to earn an additional 50 doubloons for them. Uh, the fort one I think is going to be the one that takes the most work because it, it requires you to either be the other crew or be on the island with another crew and to kill at least, I believe it's five skeletons with a power keg. Now that, that being said, that's not too hard of a thing, but because waves will be extinguished quicker because of the powder kegs, it's you, you want to make sure that you head right out to a fort and then try and parlay with the other crew if you can. Just say, hey, I'm just here for the recommendations. I don't necessarily need the, the loot. I just want to get the legendary status so I can get the doubloons because the doubloons, the rep level changes are in place now. So you actually get that full rep level when you get those recommendations from the bilge rats. And that's it's great because it doesn't matter where you are in the level, you will constantly get get a full level. So if you're three quarters of the way through 45 and you get a recommendation, you'll go three quarters of the way through 46. I love that. And it's repeatable. So it doesn't matter. As long as you have the doubloons, you can use that on a regular basis. I don't think there's any limitations that I'm aware of. Unfortunately, I only got one day to do, so I can't really say, and it bugs me. I'm trying to let that go. I'm trying. Help me out. All right. Uh, there are two small things that I wanted to go into about the patch notes that I thought were interesting. I know I'm not the only one who noticed this, but at the, the top of the patch notes, and the links are in the show notes for sure if you want to drop over there and take a look at this for yourself, we get a small glimpse of a pirate that has face paint as he's uh, shooting the gunpowder skeleton. And, and this is very much like how Merrick had. And Merrick, Merrick also had earrings as well, but... I'm, I'm really hoping that this is something that's going to start coming to the game soon. I really hope that we get more cosmetics because this, along with uh, the, the earrings, are just new ways. Like, I, I love the big gold hooped pirate earrings that, that are, you know, are, are on every single Halloween costume that you buy. But it's it's something that still really kind of speaks to that, that you know, like pirate having the treasure and you know piercings were very painful back then because it was done by a hook if you watch that movie with a guy that i love that's no longer with us anyway we also <laughs> we also get a glimpse at the bottom the looking for crew there's a picture there it's a new one and there's a heavy emphasis on merchant alliance and i really want to know is this a tease at what may be coming with the next bilge rat adventure we also see that there there's a cat hanging out on the the dock as well too something that was supposed to come with microtransactions when they were originally planning the uh, traditional roadmap uh, that has then that has since been pushed back to further notice it's hard to know for sure if this will be something to be concerned of right meow but if you take another look at the chickens on that photo uh, they're poking their heads out of the cage from the front not from the top and that's different so i don't know if this is just some crafty photoshop uh, i mean why is there a, a, why is this pirate appearing to be tiptoeing around and, and getting scolded by another pirate I, I, we may never know these answers i, I I'm, I'm just curious 
when we'll get more interest in instruments uh, like a banjo or a, a kazooie. Okay, <laughs> okay, who am I kidding? You you pirates know I'm talking about the new figurehead. So we got we're getting a new figurehead, a banjo and kazooie. As as part of the 20 year celebration, they're finally releasing the bird and the bear figurehead that was teased way long ago, back when they were doing the, I think it was the Comic-Con. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was the Comic-Con video. During July, in the next patch, you can, all July, you can buy the Banjo and Kazooie, the Bear and the Bird figurehead. And it's, it's, <laughs> I love the pricing for this. It's 1998 gold. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Um, I can't wait for this. I, oh, though I'll, I'll probably have to wait because I don't have any internet. Have I mentioned that? I can't remember. It's It's been like five minutes. Anyway, there's a ton of info on about, uh, a ton of info about this on the, the celebration, including there's going to be a first four figure of Banjo-Kazooie, a, a Totaku figure uh, that's something very similar to the Gold Hoarder. So if you like the Gold Hoarder figure that was released and you love Banjo-Kazooie, uh, definitely look for that as well too. And if you're a Sea of Thieves fan and you go onto their merchandise website a lot like I do, you'll be able to pick up a limited edition Banjo-Kazooie cave painting shirt that is something that I've seen in game and I, I love it because I know what the reference is, but this is a limited edition shirt. So make sure your fear of missing out tendencies are in check if you suffer like I do from wanting to buy everything Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Okay, pirates. I'm I'm having to I'm really having to kind of chew through this uh, because I I don't know how much bandwidth I'm really going to be able to have because I'm tethering from my phone and that <clears throat> that actually kind of takes me to the captain's log, which unfortunately last week I mentioned I was moving and if you've been following on Twitter you might have seen a couple of things, but I've I'm I'm technically done with moving, but it's been a busy week to say the least, and I hope you'll forgive me if this episode isn't up to my normal par. I've I've been waiting I'm waiting for a technician to come out to install gigabyte cable to my apartment, and the soonest appointment won't be until July twelfth. So thankfully I was able to buy all of my weapons on Thursday. I was able to get my title uh, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this event again. And it kind of kills me. And I've been bugging uh, Comcast if they can get someone out here sooner. Uh, that being said, uh, unless an appointment window opens up, I'm having to suspend all my streaming till I have internet again. I don't even know if I'll get to play. Uh, I'm really sorry for this too. Trust me, it's it's frustrating not to have internet. Everything's tethered by my phone right now, and I'm and I'm limited to 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 tethering data as well too. Especially since my birthday is on July 6th, and Frosty Force, uh, who's the Banana Bandit, also has his birthday on July 6th as well. And we had been planning for a while to have a Galleon birthday party stream. And this was going to have uh, uh, Lara and uh, a buddy of mine twisted. We, we were planning on having this big old thing, and it's already been tweeted out. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to get to it because I don't know if I'm going to have internet. And that really bums me out. So if I, if I do have internet service, I, I can't wait to get on to be able to play with everyone to stream this, to be able to celebrate the birthdays that are coming in July, to be able to pick up the Banjo-Kazooie figurehead. It's, it's so gut-wrenching that I can't have fun with you in the game. I'm, I really want to. I can't wait to get back to actually playing with everyone. Uh, I, I don't have a captain's log in this sense, and this is kind of it, and I'm apologizing right now because it, it kills me to have to do this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this now. Let's, let's move on to the next part. All right, so last week I didn't have any reviews. This week I actually have two reviews. So the reviews are in, and I want to thank... The Spice Wolf for their five star review. Uh, he goes on to say, or she goes on to say, I actually don't know. The pirate goes on to say, I highly recommend this podcast to all who enjoy Sea of Thieves. Captain Logan's enthusiasm for the game is infectious, and he'll save you time by bundling all the latest Sea of Thieves news into a concise audio experience, whether it be patch notes, content releases, or rumors about future features. Logan's got it covered. But Make sure you stick around for my personal favorite segment, The Captain's Log, where you'll get to hear about Logan's own wild adventures out on the sea. I look forward to the next new episodes every week. The Spice Wolf, 
Thank you very much for your review. And I wish I had a great story to tell this week about the gunpowder skeletons. I I did get another review, by the way, uh, another five star review from DDK the second that reads: I was searching around for a new podcast to listen to the other day, and Sea of Thieves came to mind. Since I've been so addicted to it. I had doubts that anyone was producing one dedicated solely to this game, let alone something worth listening to. But as I ever, but I'm sorry, let me reread this. But boy, was I ever wrong. If you like Sea of Thieves, you'll love this podcast. And if anything, the podcast has made me want to jump into the game even more. See you all in the Sea of Thieves. DDK the second, I'm sorry for one, bur- butchering the review, but thank you for your kind words. I'm, I'm glad that you found my small yet dedicated podcast. I love doing this show, uh, not just for myself, for, for being able to talk about the game, but, but because you have the same desire I do to be engrossed with Sea of Thieves when you're not actually playing it, especially for me right now. The, the last thing I'm going to drop in here, this is, this is actually more of the Sea of Thieves. Uh, The next Bilge Rat Adventure was hinted at us, and they're working on it, and they're calling it The Sunken Curse. And this is is interesting, because I was wrong about the gunpowder skeletons being used on abandoned forts. I was was hoping they were going to be using those. They aren't. And I'm thinking this adventure might have something to do with the shipwrecks out at sea. But I could be totally wrong about that as well, too. Who knows what the Sunken Curse is? We have chests that are uh, concept art in the art book that look like a new type of cursed chest. And I wonder if the Sunken Curse may, per- may, may pertain to that or it may pertain to mer people. I, I don't know if... if if, would they review more re- reveal more information about mer people in a bilge rat adventure? What do you guys think? Do you think do you think a bilge rat adventure is worth dedicating time to talk about mer people, or should that be like its own content drop? Because I'm I'm thinking like the false snails. I'm thinking that's tall tales. I think that's going to be the mermaids. But I, I, I'm wondering if the if the sunken curse is is about. Is it about the mer people? Is it about the chest with Captain Flameheart? Is is it, it like what's going on with this? What is the sunken curse, and why is it a bilge rat adventure that they're willing to tease now? And it, it, is this something that's coming out after curse sales, or is this something that's coming out before curse sales? I'm I'm oh man, I, we we can only really speculate for now. Either way, I'm I'm excited for when this comes out. Till then. I plan on reading through the comics again because I, I managed to pick up the fourth issue, and now that I'm <laughs> without internet, I might as well take the time to grind through some reading. So I'm probably going to read through those. I'm probably going to read through the Tales of Sea of Thieves again. Uh, Pirates, that's going to do it for me. If you want to get a hold of me, feel free to do so. My Twitter is at C-A-P-T underscore L-O-G-U-N. You can email me uh, anything you want, really, I don't, as long as it's not bad. Uh, C-A-P-T-L-O-G-U-N at gmail.com is my email address. You can reach me on Xbox uh, through the Xbox app at C-A-P-T-A-I-N-L-O-G-U-N. No spaces or anything. That's just all, all one big phrase. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, join our Discord. We have people meeting up on Discord and communicating and getting together on galleons and stuff now to, to try and get some of these legendary commendations. And it's, and it's so great to see from afar... When, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go do it again. Anyway, I, I hope this next episode doesn't come in, in via a, a message in a bottle. But anyway, till next time, I hope to see you on the Sea of Thieves.